This presentation will answer the question, why is the multinutrient approach of daily essential nutrients essential for my health? We'll discuss the significance of single nutrient deficiencies in the body, and then we'll show how critically important it is to address all of these deficiencies at the same time so we can enjoy optimum health. Dr. Bruce Ames, one of the most recognized researchers in human nutrition, has indicated that when one input in the metabolic network is inadequate, repercussions are felt on a large number of systems and can lead to disease. Essential vitamins and minerals are vital inputs for many processes in every cell in our bodies. So when one nutrient is deficient, it can cause problems in multiple body systems and lead to chronic disease. We'll give you an analogy to explain why vitamins and minerals are so important. Imagine that each cell in your body includes a tiny circuit board to control its functions. In this analogy, if a particular vitamin or mineral is lacking in the cell, it's like breaking one or more of the connections on the circuit board. You can see how this would cause serious problems because when a vitamin or mineral is deficient, the circuit board connections would be broken in millions of cells throughout the body, not just in one cell. This map of human metabolism was created by scientists to summarize what actually happens in our body cells. This map looks very similar to a circuit board, and some of the same principles apply. But the workings of our cells are actually much more complex than any circuit board. In fact, each cell is a tiny factory that takes raw materials and produces what our bodies need to function. Each connecting pathway on this map actually represents a tiny assembly line within the factory. We'll zoom in to a small part of the factory to take a closer look at how vitamins and minerals are used. This is a small part of what actually happens in our cells. You can think of it as part of the factory. Each rectangle in this map represents an enzyme, which is like a robot assembling parts along the assembly line. In our bodies, Enzymes require vitamins and minerals in order to work. So, if a vitamin or mineral is deficient, it can actually halt an entire assembly line. We'll give you an example to illustrate. This particular enzyme requires iron in order to function. So, if iron is deficient, a whole network of metabolic processes would be affected like this. This is a bad situation. By halting the assembly line at this point, among many other things, two important neurotransmitters, serotonin and melatonin, are no longer produced. Serotonin helps keep our mood even, and melatonin helps us to sleep restfully. This explains in part why iron deficiency leads to symptoms like feeling weak and tired, feeling grumpy, having headaches, and having a hard time concentrating or thinking. So you can see how a single nutrient deficiency can have a large effect on many systems of the body and lead to disease. This next slide shows how deficiencies in multiple nutrients can affect one body system, the brain. As you go around this circle diagram, you can see deficiencies in vitamin A, vitamin B1, B5, B12, in minerals like magnesium, zinc, iron, selenium, boron, and chromium, Researchers have found that deficiencies in these nutrients cause things like depression, anxiety, fatigue, mental lethargy, emotional disorders, weakness, sluggishness, poor coordination, and decreased mental alertness. So deficiencies of many different minerals and vitamins can cause significant and serious effects on body systems. Decades ago, the Surgeon General indicated that it has long been known that optimal health depends upon adequate nutrition. What we'll show you next will help you understand what this important statement really means.